nuclear reactor atomic pile a nuclear reactor is a device in which the nuclear reaction is carried out by controlled chain reaction in a self sustained manner originally the name atomic pile was given to nuclear reactor the first reactor was built in 1942 at chicago usa the main components in a nuclear reactor are the following 1 fissionable material the fissionable material are the nuclear fuel used in the nuclear reactions it is uranium 235 in some reactors plutonium 239 is also employed the fissionable material is sealed in aluminum cylinders the cylinders are inserted in the holes drilled in carbon blocks 2 source of neutrons a suitable neutron source is placed conveniently in the neighborhood of the fuel 3 moderator the moderator is a material which is used to slow down the neutrons produced by nuclear fission the neutrons are made to pass through a block of moderator which is generally graphite carbon or through heavy water dto deuterium oxide then the neutrons are slowed down to required velocity at this velocity the neutrons are in thermal equilibrium with the moderator such neutrons are called thermal neutrons and now at this stage these neutrons are used to change fission in the fuel 4 control rods material like cadmium or boron is used to control the chain reaction these rods absorb neutrons we can control the chain reaction by adjusting the length of these rods in or out of the reactors when the cadmium rod is completely pushed in the block the neutrons are absorbed and the chain reaction stops the more the rods are withdrawn stronger is the intensity of chain reaction 5 coolant it is a material which is used to absorb heat generated in chain reaction liquid sodium and heavy water are most commonly used as coolants the coolant takes up the heat energy evolved in the reaction and releases this energy in heat exchanges with water this water turns to high pressure superheated steam this steam is employed to run the turbine which in turn operates the machines 6 protective shield it is generally made up of a thick massive concrete material it can be 10 meter thick it shields surroundings against radiations emitted during the reaction working when fission takes place in a uranium rod most of the fast neutrons produced escape from the rod and enter into the moderator these neutrons make collisions with the particles of the moderator and thus slows down about 25 collisions with deuterium are sufficient to slow down a neutron energy from 2 mega electron volts to thermal energies the distances between the rods are adjusted in such a way that a neutron coming from one rod is generally slowed down to thermal energies before entering the other rod the geometry of the core is such that out of the average 2.5 neutrons per fission one neutron is used to trigger the next fission and the remaining are lost without triggering any fission the reaction is then sustained at a concrete temperature if the rate of loss of neutrons is decreased further the fission rate will keep on increasing which may lead to explosion if the rate of loss of neutrons is increased the rate of fission will keep on decreasing and finally chain reactions stops
The timer control of fission rate is made by the control rods. If the stage is set for stable chain reaction and the cadmium rods are pushed into the moderator, the reactor will be shut off. Pulling the cadmium rods out will start the reactor. Some coolant liquid like water at high pressure is passed through the reactor core area which withdraws the heat produced in the core. The heat is used to prepare steam from water. The steam so prepared is used to run steam turbines and produce electric power. The amount of uranium-235 goes on decreasing as the uranium rod is used for fission when uranium-235 is finished and only uranium-238 is left the rods have to be changed.